One man is working overtime this Christmas, and no, it's not St. Nick. As long as Mass is celebrated, Grant Orr will stay in business. He's made a list and checked it twice, and now it's time to deliver. Mark Irons reports. The busiest day is Sunday, but many Catholic churches are open seven days a week and mass is offered daily. There's so much behind the scenes that goes on. As more worshipers fill the pews, more supplies are ordered. Grant Orr owns a church supply company in Maryland. He tries to keep up with the demands of around 1,000 churches up and down the East Coast. Chalices, tabernacles, the vestments, the crucifixes hanging in the church. Consumable supplies go quickly. These are whole wheat. These are white. Like the hosts. The order's almost double for Christmas time. And candles. We generally supply a great deal more during Christmas. When possible, Grant makes deliveries himself. Hey, Father Bava. All right, Grant. How are you? Got Fine. some candles for you for Christmas here. Okay. Father Dave Bava, pastor of Holy Redeemer Catholic Church in Washington, D.C., says the things Grant supplies are key to the liturgy. The ambiance or the environment in which we worship uh, hopefully leads people into a closer experience with the Lord. Visually, it helps them to realize the importance of what's going on in the sacramental experience. Grant also receives special requests during the Christmas season. We've got this crucifix. It was ordered by a church in North Carolina. We restored it. It'll be delivered back to the chapel for Christmas. But one order is more important than all the rest. The host is the center of the Catholic faith, or the faith that truly believes that that becomes the body of Christ in the miracle of the Mass. Even though I am supplying bread at the time, just knowing what's going to turn into is pretty powerful. In Beltsville, Maryland, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.